Hey everyone, welcome back to Continuum of Loathing. Last episode I kicked some fucking ass, so I think I'm heading to the guard chamber now. Filthworm Royal Guard. Royal Guard! Uh, this is one of the Filthworm's hive, the Filthworm Hive's Royal Guards. They're like most Royal Guards, with the exception they don't have fuzzy hats. What they do have is sharp teeth, foul order, and a fierce dedication to the protection of the hive. Cool. Man, I have a lot of damage built up. All right, I should be able to get the item that I need here, put quickly. Hopefully. Well, why not, why take a chance? Uh, let's take, let's take this off for now. And let's put on the item drop thing. Let's see if I have anything else. Lucky rabbit's foot. Oh, this is actually much better. Damn, I've been wasting my fucking time. <laughs> Oh, I'm a dingus. I'm a big dang dingus. Oh my god, this is even better. -er. I kind of wish there was just a button I could hit and like, hey, give me the best things for whatever. Like, I would adore that. Or at least a sort function that works. Like the, the fucking... Bloodborne drives me absolutely crazy. All right, I've only got one more adventure of this, so. Welp. That's a load of shit. Let's pop that on. Please give me the item I need. I just, I really want that item. All right. Well, I've nearly leveled up, which is good. So let's um, let's take all of these off, and let's just start putting more on. Okay, so I should have technically twenty, but I think it's a multiplicative, not additive, or at least slightly multiplicative. Um, hmm. It should be everything, though, right? Okay, now hopefully... Oh, God, please give it to me. If I don't get it here, I have to start all over. Well, that's it then, huh? Can't go there. And I can't go here. Well, at least I got that on my first drop. You see, this is one of the things about Kingdom of Loathing that, like, I actually really do not like. Oh, for God's sakes. I'm just fighting dudes over and over again, and this is one where you have to do it over and over again in its own specific thing. Maybe I can... And this is going to be a short episode, huh? Can I actually... Oh, right. I'm not equipped for that. Damn. Well, maybe I can just keep banging my head against this. Got 13 adventures left. Way to pee away your adventures, dude. Feeding chamber. Oh, wait, right. Guard chamber. Yeah, okay. Now please give me what I need. What do I need? Queen Filthworm. Heart of the Filth Filthworm Queen. Okay. <gasps> I got a level. Damn, okay. Well, maybe, I, maybe this isn't all bad. Not much going on at the moment. Try back later. All right, so we got Pulverize and Proud of the Puffin. Part of the buffet, 10 adventures. Uh, part of the buffet, here we go. Like a puffin, you're capable of feats of staggering and a little humility. Spend some time puffing up your chest. You swell both literally and with pride. Plus 10 to monster level. Oh. You're as full of yourself as a puffin. It is full of itself, not full of you. 
Unless you've been eaten by a puffin, in which case, and also that puffin's really arrogant, in which case I guess it's both. Royal Guard Send Clan. There we go. Okay, can I just get to the Queen's Chamber? Okay. So there's only one combat encounter there, so I should just be able to get it. <sighs> which means that if that would, they would have dropped that earlier, I could have gotten it right away. But... Queen Filth Worm. Okay, cool. Yeah, see, th this, this is the issue. Because I didn't get it right away, I had to go back to the start, and I had to blow, like, 30 adventures going all the way back to the beginning. And, like... Uh, it's it's the it's the one big problem with this game, and I'm glad that West of Loathing doesn't have it because like why would they? How could they? It's just uh, it's such a mediocre choice in game design, but I I super understand why they did it because uh, whatever whatever it's fine. Game's free, shouldn't be bitching. This is the queen of all filthworms. I guess if you have to be a filth worm, better be the queen of better be the queen than just a regular drone. Not quite as uh, good as being a filth worm at all. Not being a filth worm at all. She's bigger than the other filth worms. Wears a crown made of green goo in the stench. Well, you ever been out in a rose garden on a spring day, wearing clothes fresh in the dry and expensive cologne? Then you walk under a window ledge with a freshly baked apple pie cooling on it. Her smells the exact opposite of that. Bam. Oh, she actually survived a hit. Not two hits though. All right. Well, I've got seven adventures left. Got the Heart of the Filthworm Queen, though. Hey, that means that I killed another... I, I did another boss. Let's, uh, let's get myself back out. Heart of Volcano. Pledge pin. Yeah, let's put the claw back on. <sighs> it's that it is the heart of the filth from queen you've done it you freed our orchard from the tyranny of nature that's just groovy man we can row you up in the, pro the produce stand since you're responsible for that I'd like to say you're entitled to a cut of the profits I mean we donated all the charity right and you like a charity anyway heck now that we're thinking about profits we should think about expanding our selection I'll pick out some special stuff to add just for you you leave before the grocer's excitement reaches its inevitable and undoubtedly incredibly annoying crescendo hmm oh cool we get stuff Oh, I can buy stuff. That's actually kind of nice. It's crappy food, but it's a cocktail ingredient. This is a cocktail ingredient? Corn of cob raised by hippie farmers. The fact they didn't use pesticides or fertilizer means that when you shuck it, it's probably going to have like four or five kernels of corn on it. Yum. Spano, if you're anything like me, you don't like tomatoes. If anything like Tan Dan Quayle, you can't spell tomatoes. Who the fuck is that? By the way, am I in 2021 yet? As I sit and record this, I'm several weeks behind. Uh, it's August for me still. Because I've, I've just been banging away at Kingdom of Odin because I'm so close to the end. So like I'm going back every couple of days to get my uh, get my coins. I've got uh, quite a few of these. Not in here now. Um, yeah, I've got 20 fat loot tokens. Let's see if I can get anything with those. Vending machine. Um, almost a dried gelatinous cube, which is cool. Okay. So does this, do these things do anything good? It's a quest item. No, so I imagine it wouldn't. Maybe I can sell it, you know, save someone else the trouble. Fuck, maybe I could have bought it. Um, so I was hoping to get another episode's worth of content out of the 40 adventures that I got, but as it happened, they just kind of all got blown on doing that because of the aforementioned shenaniganery. All right, well, I've done another quest, so that means that I should be at... Okay, so that's, let, let's check here. Completed quests. Art. Okay, let's see here. God, there's so many of these. 
Are these... Okay, no. Is there a check to, way to check to see how many I've done? Oh, yeah, I can trade these in as well. Cool. So I've got 26 quarters now. I don't think I'm going to use these tongs. Uh, they're a one-handed utensil, yeah. A pair of tongs used by grill sergeants in the Brotherhood. Spend so much time in barbecue grills that they're perpetually red hot. This is because frat boys are having barbecues when they should be studying. It's not a joke. It's the sad, sad truth. The damage isn't bad, but I've now actually outdamaged it with just the normal stuff. These give me sleaze damage and moxie. A pair of basketball shoes for people who never play basketball. Covered in logos, they have fat laces that are intended to stay untied and have more padding than a freshman sorority orc's brassiere. You can probably do a decent amount of damage with these since they're practically dripping with sleaze. And then the energy drink IV. Uh, this is not, as you might expect, the fourth in a series of energy drinks. Oh, IV, ha ha. Plastic bag filled with an energy drink and a tube connected to it ending with a needle. I know what you're saying. You're saying, wouldn't it kill you if you injected something carbonated into your veins? And I'm replying, no, not at all. In fact, it would be delightfully refreshing. And it regenerates uh, MP. That's a weapon that I'm not going to use. This is a weapon I'm not going to use. Wait, what? This is a three-handed catapult. This is a device made of a bra cup and surgical tubing designed for launching at high speeds. Balloons filled with nasty, skunky beer. Three-handed catapult? How is that real? <laughs> if you're a disco bandit, the combo will let you pickpocket. Damn it. Yeah, if you don't find the next one in time, you must start over from the hatchling chamber. Shit. Uh, that sucks. That fucking blows. Uh, well. I could cut this together with another episode. Can I go here yet? No. Oh, this is a new thing. You're fighting a mobile armored sweat lodge. This is the crude. This is a sweat lodge, a crude wooden building filled with hot coals that hippies sit in whenever they want to sweat out the toxins and impurities they're so sure the modern world fills their bodies with. Which with they're so sure the modern world fills their bodies. This one has wheels on it though, and it's coming right towards you. As much as scary as the idea of a big box of naked hippies is, the idea of a big mobile box of naked hippies nearly paralyzes you with fear. Nearly. Oh, damn. It's not a pushover. A blast of air emerged from the hole in front of the sweat lodge and nearly knocks you out, both because it's forceful and full of the concentrated stench of several hippies. Bonk. See a keg tank and mobile sweat lodge facing off at the distance. Since the keg tank is made of steel and the uh, sweat lodge is made of wood, you can guess the outcome. Still image zero. Oh, I can go here now. Nice. <laughs> Them thar hills. Our Lady of Perpetual Indecision. Sister, okay, her name is Amygdala. But because of the stupid way that Patches the Spider pronounces the word in the video game released in 2015, Bloodborne, I always want to say this fucking word, Amygdala. It's so stupid. And go to hell, Miyazaki, for doing that. Why is it pronounced Amygdala? All right, Sister Amygdala. Thank heavens you've arrived. Hey, get ready for me to forget this voice by the time, by the next time I voice this character, by the way. We need help, soldier, most desperately. Calm down, <coughs> calm down, calm down, you say. What's the problem? This morning when Sister Medulla, oh my god, their names are all brain organs. The brain's an organ, but it's a multi-parted organ. When Sister Medulla put the daily deposit in our safe, she found it was empty. Those th filthy, thieving, dirty, rotten bandits from the Themdar Hills have stolen all of our meat. We'd be ever so grateful if you got it back for us. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Because I'm pretty sure that there's a way to cheese this. Perpetual indecision. Uh, to reach the farm, I need that many. And I only just reached this. I should take a note of that, actually. One ninety two kills. In KOL Battlefield. All right. We'll cover the sisters' meat. That's a weird sentence. All right. Go to Thendarth Hills and start finding bandits. They drop thousands of meat, but any meat drop will be collected by the nuns. They've stolen 100,000 in total. 
once you recover all 100,000. Wow, that's... Why is this better? I guess it's because you have to unlock it. Maybe the counterpart is also better for the hippies compared to... It'd be this, the junkyard, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, so that just gives me the same. Okay. Anything that increases meat from monster is useful. What's a cliche? Cliche combat spell. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what gives me meat from monsters. Impunity, Chachi Feather. Let's start from the top. That gives me stuff. Spook resistance, hot damage, more stuff, combat initiative. Okay, I need... I guess I need to keep that on. I like how this is animated, by the way. I just appreciate that. Monster level. That's item drops, not meat, unfortunate. What's this? Meat from monsters, okay. Let's see if there's anything else I can put on here. More buffs. MP. Shiny ring. Hmm. Sorry for being quiet, I'm just trying to read. Oh, meat from monsters, nice. I'll lose uh, some of my... Is it this one? No. It was this one? Yeah. Okay. Yada, 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 yada. I think that's everything. Okay. Let's squeeze as much content as I can out of my remaining few six adventures. Them thar hills. Fighting a dirty thieving, thieving brigand. One of the dirty rotten scoundrels that stole the meat from the coffers of Our Lady of Perpetual Indecision. Uh, let's hit him with a meat vortex. We gain some meat. Unleash the meat vortex on your unsuspecting opponent. Meat begins to fly through the air from him to you. He lunges forward and tries to grab your wallet. Doesn't get it, but he manages to bruise up your bung and ankle. Sister Ganglia. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, these are all nerve or brain tissues. Thank you for recovering this meat. Almost all the meat is still in the hands of the bandits. Please continue your efforts. So we got 200 meat. Um, let's see the bandits, huh? Wow, so that's a really low roll. But the fact that we got more of that does mean that we are getting more of it. Okay. American hook spear, activation of meat stealing from these. Stacking meat drops will help, and it can't be copied. She tries to cut your purse strings, but misses and cuts your kidney instead. Ow. Yeah, a lot of low rolls. I guess I don't have too much. Jeez. Let's squeeze it out here. Thank you for recovering this meat. Almost all the meat is still in the hands of those bandits. Continue your efforts. And I'm out of adventures. Well, how much does it take to buy my last thing? 15k meat. Damn. Um, let's get fucked up. All right. So, next time I will use my six adventures plus the 40 I get to keep grinding. I guess I can grind that off screen. Um, does it tell me how much I have left? Damn, it doesn't. Well, 
that's okay. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's Kingdom of Loathing. Thank you guys ever so much for coming by to visa to me. Thank you for uh, sticking through this episode where I... I mean, I wasn't exactly padding. I just did some stuff that I normally would have done off screen. Uh, I'll see you guys next week, though. Although, I don't know if it'll be next week. Um, at some point towards the end of this game, I'm going to start, like... I'm, I'm just going to have a week where it's all Kingdom of Loathing and just go bam, bam, bam all the way through because I, I just really want to finish this game um, because then my Tuesdays can be something else. So if I have to sacrifice some Wednesdays, Thursdays, maybe even a Friday, that's fine. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys next time, not necessarily next week. I've been Alfred. This has been Kingdom of Loathing. Thank you guys for coming. See you next time.